I'm Chef Susan O'Dell of Foodell.com. I'm a professional teaching chef and a graduate of Le Cordon Bleu. And I get asked all the time about appetizer recipes. When I need something that's really elegant, tastes really good to serve at my own parties or even to bring somewhere else, I like to make salmon tartare. It's delicious, it's beautiful on the plate, and it's really easy to make. Let's have a look at our ingredients. First of all, we've got salmon. I'm landlocked. I buy a good quality frozen salmon that's never been thawed. We're going to mix that with some finely chopped chives. This is two, one tablespoon worth. They're finely chopped. We want bite-sized appetizers, so everything needs to be small. I've got two teaspoons of finely chopped shallot. I've got a lemon. I'm going to use both the zest, which is the yellow part of the lemon, and the juice from half of the lemon to mix in with my salmon tartare. I've got two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil. And for garnish, I've got a little sour cream. We can also use creme fraiche. And I've got some chopped chives. These are cut in one quarter inch lengths. So to cut your salmon, if you buy frozen salmon, it's a little easier to cut if it's still a little frozen. Cut a few slices off of the end, and then you can stack those slices up. Cut them lengthwise. Again, we're going for very small pieces. We want these to be bite-sized, so you need small cubes of salmon. That's your goal. Just run your knife along there and get your tiny little cubes and move it to a bowl where we're going to mix in all of the rest of the ingredients. To get the lemon zest, you need a very fine grater. I'm going to use a microplane fine grater, and it just takes this lemon zest off, which is just the yellow part. You don't want the white pith. You want your zest to be very fine. If you don't have a fine grater, just chop it with a knife. We're going to add that to the bowl with the salmon. We also will add juice from half of the lemon. Now just mix in the rest of your ingredients. You've got your chopped shallots, your chopped chives, some olive oil. I'm also going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. Stir that all together. We're going to put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes or even up to 12 hours so you can make it in advance. I'm going to make some sweet cornbread to serve my salmon tartare on. My dry ingredients include one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two-thirds of a cup of granulated sugar, a half a cup of yellow cornmeal, and I've got a tablespoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. Just stir those together. For my wet ingredients, I have one and a quarter cup of milk, one third of a cup of canola oil, three tablespoons of melted butter, yum, and two eggs, just lightly beaten. Just whisk all of those together, and then we're going to add them to our dry ingredients. Pour your cornbread batter into a parchment lined baking sheet. You want your cornbread to be thin. And we're going to bake it at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes, just until it starts to get light golden on top. Once it cools, we'll cut it into serving pieces. Now just top each of your corn cakes with a little bit of the salmon, about a teaspoon. You want to do this pretty much right before you serve it or your corn cakes will get soggy. To garnish my salmon tartare, I'm going to use a little bit of sour cream. I find this is really easy if you just put the sour cream in either a piping bag or a little plastic bag and then just snip a hole in the corner. Now just top your salmon with a tiny dollop of sour cream. And for the coup de gras, the finishing touch, a little chive right on top. And there you have it. The salmon tartare recipe makes about 30 appetizers. You're going to have leftover cornbread, which is always a good thing. These are beautiful, they're elegant, and they're super delicious. Your friends are going to love them. Bon appétit.